Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. Today I'm going to help out a viewer. He got a hold of me and he said, Jim, I'm trying to make some parts somebody ordered. It's a block of steel and similar to this one, this is for my lawnmower. He says, I have two holes that are drilled and tapped. I have to align the block in a certain position and get it square and I have to transfer where these threaded holes are onto the plates of steel. He's got quite a few of these to make. Well, you could drill these holes all the way through the block if the block's not too big. And you could use a set of these. These are transfer punches. And you come up with the one you need. And you can run it through there and punch where the hole is supposed to be on the plate. I have a couple sets of these I've mentioned before. This is a small set from 1 16th to 17 30 seconds, just one size over a half. This set goes from a half inch to one inch in 60 fourths of an inch. Nice set. That don't help us in this because he doesn't want to drill the holes all the way through because water gets in there, it'll turn it rusty and you won't get the thing apart when you want to take it apart. So we're going to use another type of transfer punch. <clears throat> First I'm going to finish tapping this last hole. Now if you guys use these things, you know how hard it is to get the tap started straight and how time consuming it is to twist that down in there. This is what they call a hand tapper. It seems to work pretty good. It is made in China, but I've used it a lot. It is square. After I shimmed the back, unbolted it and checked from the shaft to the base with a square and shimmed it up and got it square. But you can just screw this thing in there. That's done. Oh, my chair is going to tip over on me. That was a 5 16 18 tap. You can just screw, you can just crank it down straight in. You don't have to stop and back it out. Run it down to the depth you want and pull it out of there. That is 50 times faster than one of these and 100 times more square than you're ever going to get it with that. Now, he wants to know, get these chips out of here, how can I transfer these threaded holes onto my plate of steel? It's a blind hole. They don't go through. But any of you tool and die guys out there, as soon as you see this, you're going to know what they are. I took the whole drawer out of my toolbox because I don't want to spill them or move them around. They're all in order. They go from the smallest one I've got is an 832. And these small ones, I usually have two of each because you need more than six on some jobs. I'll show you what they look like on this three-quarter tenth. Give me an idea how they work. It's a lot easier to see than the 5 16 18 will be. And that would be this size. On the end, there's a cap. You unscrew the cap out of the end. And inside of here, these are made by Sterrett. They're expensive. 
Most of these I inherited from my late sister, which we just lost. They were her husband's. He was a tool and die man, and she gave me most all his tools. Some of these I purchased. Uh, these small ones down here, let me tip you back down. These smaller sizes, like, what size is this one? This is 3 16 24. They're like 25 bucks a piece. What this big one runs, I bet you're looking close to 75 to 100 dollars. Now inside of here, they're hollowed out. Very well machined, of course stair tools are. There are six screws, or I should say transfer punches. And they got a hexagon end with a hardened steel point. These are all heat treated. Now what that hex is for, it fits in the end of this tube. This is your driver. It fits in there. You screw it in the hole. Now we'll put the 5 16 one in here, wherever it went. 5 16 18. We'll shake out a couple of those. Put the cap on so I don't lose them. And again, these are all Sterrett tools. But these are much smaller. <laughs> but they still have the little hex on the end that goes into this driver. And that's what you use to screw this in with. I can get it in the driver. This one doesn't seem to want to fit in the end. Let's try that one. The reason you have that hex on there is because you want to screw them down a little bit below the surface as far as the thread but not the point. You can see these little points sticking up. And they are sharp. Now you can set this on top of the plate that you're trying to anchor this to. You can get it squared up the way you want it. Hold it up pretty much so you know the points are touching and not the corner or edge of your block. Try to hold it square and you smack that with a hammer. That will give you two punch marks to put a center drill in and drill your clearance hole. And they will be perfectly lined up with the threaded hole in the block. That's a set of transfer punches. Most <laughs> Most people have never seen them and don't know what they are, but they are very, very useful, especially if you're in tool and die work. You stack all these back up. These are the little threaded punches. And that's the easiest way to get them back in this holder that I found. And you screw the end back on. That's how I've transferred holes and a lot of stuff that I've built is by using these threaded transfer punches. I don't know if you could buy these off Amazon. Maybe they sell everything else. But typically you'd have to go to a, a supplier that sells Sterrett tools. So that's it for today. I just wanted to help out John on transferring his holes. And he did ask me, what is a simple, fast way of threading a hole? This would be it. He's got a lot of these to manufacture. And I think he said two of them bolt on each plate. 
and they have to be the right distance apart. They have to be parallel and square. They're mounting something on top of this. The uh, plate, I think he said, or this adapter is holes on the bottom and the top, but they don't line up. So as far as I know, this is it. This is the only way that you can actually <coughs> accurately transfer a threaded hole from one piece down to another. So John, I hope this helps. I hope it helps someone else. And until next time, work safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. So long.